damn, I know I'm talking to y'all right now, but I'm not wasting time. Like, I can't sit down and talk to y'all for a second. I gotta be on the move all the time. Like, I can't just have a chit chat right quick. Hey y'all, so I'm back at work. I mean, what the fuck I'm talking about? See, that's... <sighs> I'm back in my room, just came home from work. And I know I was ranting earlier, sounding like a bitch. But um, this work life is just not like for me. I know I keep saying that and then I'll still be here which reflects poorly on me. No excuse. And I know that I want a different life for myself, but I just want to take accountability for earlier when I went on my rant and I was talking about other people and just wanted to work and that's it. Like, if that's all they want, that's good I should have made somebody feel bad about you know for what they want to do or what they don't want to do when I'm not even fully doing what I want to do like somebody could make easily make me feel bad about the poor decisions that I've made throughout my life and there probably do be some people talking shit but I can't hear them just like when I'm talking shit about them they can't hear me okay let me just let me just my point is don't try to make people feel bad about the decisions that they make everybody don't want to move how you move everybody don't want to do what you trying to do like and people shouldn't make other people feel bad about that People shouldn't have to feel bad about that. Like everybody on their own timeline, like, you know? But I feel like sometimes when we try to, you know, force things on other people or push them to do what we think they should be doing, I feel like that's kind of projection. Like we projecting onto them what we want for our, our own lives because we not following our own instinct you know and living in our our true path of our destiny we're kind of fighting it you know because if you were like living your truth and just living you know fearlessly then you wouldn't feel the need to try to push other people or make other people feel bad about the life that they live in it's only when you're not living the life that you actually want to live that that something triggers you because we all are reflections of each other. So when you see that in somebody else, you just get triggered and you get upset. And oh, I'm my own therapist. That's some realization right there. Like definitely a realization. I feel like I just evolved a little bit. Wow. I be blowing my own mind sometimes. Yeah. I feel like a little bit of a better person than I just was like a minute ago. This is the pure definition of staying in your lane. Cause you swerving to other people's lane, bitch, you gonna have an accident. I'm about to celebrate my uh my evolution that I just had two minutes ago. I'm about to celebrate. <laughs> what am I doing here? Like I'm so much better than this. I watched this video and um on the video the interview guy, he asked the interviewee, uh, he was like, 
how do you increase your self-worth? And he was talking about how people, people's self-worth, you can like relate it to like a ceiling being, you know, only so high. And once they start to eliminate things out of their life that make makes them feel bad or things that make them feel undervalued or things like you sometimes you know like you deserve better like even if it's a pair of flip-flops like i just threw away a pair of my uh i just bought a new pair of these shower shoes because you know we gotta wear flip-flops in the shower so you don't get a damn foot infection but just using these as as an example like the other ones they were wearing like a little flat like you know they were just you know worn down a little bit and i feel like some people would have kept wearing them and i feel like i wore them for flip-flops too long like me buying another pair was overdue but i feel like some people settle for things because sometimes they don't feel like they deserve better and i deserved better i deserved a new pair of flip-flops and so every time you <laughs> let me uh... my stomach hurt y'all i need to find that video oh uh, y'all know what i'm gonna um hit up old dude and ask him if he can send me the video that we recorded so i can show y'all the video because i feel like the conversation was pretty good and I feel like him having it, it will that video will never see the light of day. He probably just in his room watching the video when it could be on YouTube somewhere. Like that's my thing. That's how I feel like. Don't waste my time because now the shit just sitting, you know, on your iPad instead of on the internet. But um. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him up and ask him if he can send it to me. And I hope he don't be acting funny because I tell him I'm unavailable. Because y'all know how y'all dudes are. As soon as somebody turn y'all down, y'all be getting in y'all fee-fees. But he the one who said he wasn't gonna try to talk to me in the first place. And I was like, ooh, what a relief. Like, thank you, you know. And then look at him. But I feel like some dudes, they just be trying to talk to it. Anybody see who? See who bite? <sighs> Y'all, yeah, I'm tired. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I just got off work. Now, I need to fold my clothes that I washed yesterday. And I just found some fucking mold in this room. So, that's probably why I was late for work today. Breathing in this damn mold. But it's a lot of people who found mold in their room. And I'm just like, underpaid. I gotta work every day. I barely have time for myself. Like jobs really be paying people to forget about their own dreams. And then there's mold in the room, like, and then y'all don't even, y'all y'all care, y'all don't even care. Like, and then y'all want me to be at work every day, like on time, just to sit there. I need a fucking drink. I need a blunt, something. I can't wait till my herbs get here, y'all. My herbs should be coming soon. Hopefully Tuesday. Today, what's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Hopefully soon. Shit. It's been like eight days. Mail takes like 10, 11, 12 days to get here. So it should be coming like Monday, Tuesday, hopefully. Smoke the fuck out of them herbs. I need to get out of here for real. I need to get out of here. I need to take these taping extensions out too. Oh, and I can't wait till my Amazon package comes because I did order some braid in here. So, that bitch gonna be get braided up. That bitch gonna be looking different. Oh.